Hello and welcome to Art Day Wednesday. My name is Leandra. And my name is Kristen. Today's craft is string art bats. Okay, for our material, we'll be using string. I have two different types of string, a thinner one, thinner one and so kind of sort of thicker one. You need scissors, you need paper. We actually have some construction paper. We have some thinner cardboard paper. And we also have some white paper. You also need paint. We're using temper paint. Um, we have four different colors, uh, purple, black, white, and orange. Also, we'll be using our template, as well as a pencil, an eraser, and some scissors as well. And we also are, are using a painting, try to show it like a painting mat so we can mix our different colors in. And we also have some popsicle sticks. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get started with our materials. We're gonna be using tempera paint today because it's a little bit of a matter finish. So what you're gonna do is, I already did the white one already, but you're just gonna pour a little bit of paint at the end. And then, depending on how thick you want your brat to look, you're gonna do thin string or yarn or thick yarn. I'm gonna use the thinner yarn for this one because I like how it looks a little bit better. And then you're just gonna cut your yarn about this long. So a little bit, maybe a paper and a half, or two papers, yeah, paper and a half. Cut that. And then what you're going to do is stick your string in the paint and then take your popsicle stick and kind of get it all saturated. And a trick that I learned is if you want it to be more stringy like this one, you're going to want to kind of get off some of the excess paint. But if you want it a little more thicker where it has these thick lines, then you're going to want to leave a little more paint on. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take the second one for the orange one, measure out, and then probably like four and a I'm going to take my paper towel, take my gloves, and my piece of paper, and move this to the side. And I think I want my white to be a little bit thicker than my orange, so then it a little pop so I'm just going to take my finger it's a little bit messy take off some of the excess paint but not too much and get that ready right and then you want to wipe your fingers and let that go and then do the same with the orange and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit harder for this one Ready. And now you want to get your piece of paper ready and you're going to fold it hamburger instead of hot dog. So I'm going to make my fold already. Kind of be and then I'm going to take my white. And this is the fun part, so you can do it however you'd like, whatever kind of design you'd like. But I've found to make kind of a more wing-like shape, 
you do start with it in the middle and then kind of curl it around and then curl it again kind of like an S a backwards S and you let it you want to leave a little bit out so you can pull it back and we're going to do the same same with the orange one I'm going to do the orange on the outside of the white maybe not go into the second loop okay and then you're going to fold the black piece of paper and this one's the thinner piece of paper i'm using to and wipe your hands and then take a heavy object it can be a book or it can be a sack of paper whatever you want to use and then do is take both pieces of string and kind of push down with your hand and just pull. different each time but you can have fun with it and play around and get what you like you can use different colors too we have a few different colors as well yeah okay now that our paper is dry we're gonna cut out and trace our bags as you can see we did some different styles and techniques on different types of paper Okay, now we're ready to trace and cut. Okay, so I have a template here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place down my bat. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna trace my bat. I'm gonna move my bat to the other side of my paper so I can get a different design. I'm gonna trace it. Now we're ready to cut out our bags. Now we're done cutting our bags off. As you can see here, we have created different styles of bags. So what you can do with your bags, you can hang them up for decorations. You can make garlands. You can also make spooky Halloween cards. You can suspend them as well. You can hang them from your ceiling as well. You can do whatever you want with your bags to make them look creative. Thank you so much for joining us on today. I enjoyed this craft. I hope you did as well.